I mean, listen, if anything, this made Conor McGregor's profile, his cachet, much bigger. Him acting like a troglodyte inmate throwing chairs and, and all kinds of objects at a tour bus during media day at UFC 223, right? Acting like what he's supposed to act like, a troglodyte, okay? Him acting like that is accepted in the UFC. Him acting like that is accepted in the dominant white society, which is why there's really no backlash. You know, him being ultimately fired and banned from the NFC? No. Nah. From the UFC, excuse me? No, not at all. They're going to embrace this guy. This this propelled his cachet big time. This made him even more popular doing this. And people are loving this. They're cheering, they're cheering him on. There's really no backlash whatsoever. <laughs> you know, even Dana White admitted that in his interview with with uh with the Fox Sports. You know, there were, he was basically saying, look. Conor McGregor is one of the biggest superstars globally. He said that. He said it's bigger. <laughs> it's bigger than firing the guy. So it's cold word for saying, no, I'm not going to fire the guy. He's a cash cow. What he did made him even bigger. Whether or not this was a setup or not, guess what? People are talking about it. I'm talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. It's trending on social media. Conor McGregor. He hasn't been relevant since he fought Mayweather. Mayweather trying to get back into the, uh, you're trying to get back into, he's actually trying to get into MMA and UFC, potentially meeting up with Floyd Mayweather again to give Conor McGregor his biggest payday of his career. Uh, Conor McGregor's career in, in terms of, you know, his star status, really, you got to thank Floyd Mayweather. He wanted to be Floyd Mayweather. Right. He wanted to have that charisma trying to, you know, culturally appropriate black culture, following hip hop stars and, and, and black entertainers and athletes on social media talking about Puffy and Jay-Z, this, that and the third, you know. And being, you know, giving this guy gets a pass of being a, a racist. Right. Telling black people dance for me, monkey. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all he's he gets away with all kinds of stuff. Gets a pass. Because why he's the ultimate poster child for white privilege. He is the white savior in MMA in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? I try to uh, my apologies. Also, family, I try to post another video previous to this one. While I was picking up my kids up uh, in my in my car from school, in my truck from school. And there was no audio. So my apologies. I went ahead and delete, uh, deleted that video. But um, I don't know. I was going in on that video. <laughs> my train of thought was going crazy. And I was going in in that short period of time. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm talking about it again in front of my workstation right now. And I just saw the interview with uh, Dana White. <laughs> I mean, you can all over his face. This This dude is not... He doesn't care. He actually loves this. He loves the attention the UFC is getting. He loves the publicity UFC. Get. Nobody knew, unless you're a diehard, hardcore UFC fan, nobody knew about no damn UFC 223 Media Day. Because I surely didn't. I don't follow this. I don't follow UFC whatsoever. Uh, but this is making media headlines and, and is trending on social media and, and everything else. And people are talking about Conor McGregor acting like an, an innate troglodyte bastard throwing chairs punching people left and right um so much so that he injured three fighters from the ufc and they are prohibited not to fight because they got injured so multiple lawsuits you know um perhaps an arrest he'll go and get some jail time um perhaps he may get a slap on the wrist. I would not be surprised. And of course, with the UFC, Dana White is loving it. Dana White's not going to do any disciplinary action towards Conor McGregor. We know this. He's not going to be fired. His contract is going to be just fine. He's going to fight in the UFC again. He's going to get a, another 
nice paycheck when he fights Mayweather or whoever else, even though he got a title strip. He doesn't care about that. He got so much money from, from Mayweather. You know, he has the my he, he has the Maidana. Um uh, he has the Maidana route. Where Maidana, when he fought uh Floyd Mayweather twice, he stopped fighting and got fat on social media. So same thing as what Conor McGregor is doing. He he don't care about fighting these guys in UFC. He just wants another big paycheck for Mayweather, which is why Mayweather is is easing back in and trying to go into MMA and get this fight with with Conor. You know, and and that's a whole another topic of conversation about about uh, Floyd joining the uh, MMA and UFC. And I've already talked about that. I said you know Floyd's going to get his ass beat. He's going to get choked out, knocked out, and. And, and, and arm barred in 30 seconds. I, I already said that. You know, I already said that. This, this is a lose-lose for him anyway. You know, the, the, the dominant white society will find a way to say he tarnished his legacy. His boxing record doesn't mean shit. He's 50-1, and one, this, that, and the third. When he loses to Connor, <laughs> you know, in the octagon, they're going to say that. They're going to say that. So it's a lose-lose situation for him. Um, and a win for, for Connor. Um Again, you, you act like a troglodyte thug the way Connor did. He gets praised. I ever saw a little thing on uh, when I was scrolling through my YouTube uh, updates on my phone. I saw a post by Fight Hub TV praising and giving props to Connor McGregor for defending his Irish fighting partner, Artem. Because uh, reportedly, Artem was like being conf- c- confronted and, or jumped. By another fighter in, in the UFC by the name of Khabib. I can't pronounce his last name. I'm not even going to try to attempt to pronounce his last name. But some dude named Khabib and 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 um, Artem had a confrontation. And Conor got wind of it. Got mad and hopped on his private plane. And went up to UFC Media Day 20, uh, 223. And caused havoc. Acted like a goddamn troglodyte thug. You know. And um, again, he's being praised. And people are loving it. And this brings up the cache of his, you know, of his popularity. UFC, Dana White. Dana White loves it. He acts like he he's distraught and, and, and bothered by it when he and in fact he loves it. He knows it's gonna bring a lot of attention to UFC in the next event and Conor McGregor. And again, people are talking about this. He knows this. He knows this. So, you know, again, <laughs> the ultimate poster child for white privilege, man. You know, it, it, it. let me tell you something, man. Just like in a previous video, I was talking about where one of the kids from um, Stoneman Douglas were talking about they want to use their white privilege to end gun violence for inner cities, right? It's, you know, using white supremacy as a weapon to fight against uh, atrocities in inner cities or areas classified as uh, or populated with people classified as uh, non-white or, or African American. Um, it's pretty much an oxymoron. You know, you don't want to fight. You don't want to use white privilege to help fight against issues w- w- within black society you want to eradicate white privilege and white supremacy as a whole period and again this is the ultimate poster child for white privilege where dana white the fans the media they are giving this guy conor mcgregor a pass they don't care they love it and life goes on he's you know Hasn't fought anybody since Floyd Mayweather last year. Didn't defend none of his titles. Okay. And still gets a pass. Gets a pass of being a racist. An open racist. Still gets a pass. So, you know, it is what it is, family. It is what it is. So, those are my quick thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below about Conor McGregor. Will you be surprised if uh, Conor McGregor gets cut? from the UFC after this incident? Let me know down below in the comments sections, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.